guys, Sinus Talker back for another video. And we'll do a little movie review video today. And the films I got this past week, all right there. Contamination, Spider Baby, The Happiness of the Kuda Curie, and Pit Stop. All by Arrow Video. Some cool flicks right here. Let me let you guys know what I thought of them. Let's get down to it right now. Oh, yeah. The very first one I'm going to talk about right now is this one. This really bizarre one by Takashi McKay. He did Audition, Ichi the Killer. Awesome Japanese director did the uh, this one right here called The Happiness of the Kata Curie. I'm probably saying it kind of wrong, but yeah, something like that. Kind of cure eye. I'm not sure how to say it, but you know, something around those lines. But I'm gonna talk about this one. Really weird, bizarre movie right here. It's like a uh, like a horror movie meets a comedy meets a musical. Really, really strange, but really cool though. Very different. I wasn't expecting this. I never seen it before. It takes place on the bottom of Mount Fuji of this little uh, bed and breakfast um, like hotel uh, joint. With this uh, family right there, it's kind of middle of nowhere. They really don't get that much visitors, and when they do, they be, they friggin' die. They commit suicide. Weird things happen, and then when they die, they break out in like song and dance about it. It's really bizarre. Like these, like the spirits come alive and stuff like that, and they start dancing with them. It's a really, really strange movie, but very, very cool. I thought it was awesome. Like it's trippy. It's like a, like a David Lynch movie. And it kind of reminds me of like that movie House, the jet, that Asian flick. It kind of reminds me of that in a, in a way. And like Rocky Horror Picture Show. It's a really cool one right here. Really strange. Um, a lot of cool uh, claymation going on in this. Pretty neat effects. Trippy song and dance numbers. Awesome extras in this thing too. Really, really good uh, interview with Takashi McKay. He's in this thing. Like a really cool extras right there. I'll show a little more in depth of what this looks like. But loaded with extras and a making of featurette. And all that kind of thing of how they did this. And at first it really wasn't a success when it opened up in Asia. And then, uh, but later on it became like a cult classic kind of movie. And it spawned new life of that ever since. But awesome flick. Uh, really cool Arrow video put this out. I've heard of it. So glad I watched it. Awesome stuff. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like a little bit up close right now. Alright, so here's up close of the cover right here. Awesome artwork right here that Arrow video provided. Very, very cool. Here's some of the uh, loaded with features right here. Look at this thing. You get commentary, behind the scenes, interviews. Really good interview. It's like about a 45 minute interview with Takashi McKay. Awesome stuff. Got a really cool booklet right here. Man, Arrow Video knocks out of the park every time. Like, they do an awesome job. Really cool read because some of the effects, like some weird, like, like these zombies dancing and stuff. It's a trippy movie. It's like a movie you would like just, like, you know, have acid to or something like that. It's really trippy stuff. But really cool though. Here's the alternate cover. Right? Got the original uh, artwork for it right there. Awesome movie. Really, really cool stuff. I dug it a lot. Definitely uh, get this if you can. Very, very cool. Alright, next movie I'm going to talk about right here is this one. The awesome classic Spider Baby starring Lon Chaney Jr. And one of his last performances too in a later part of his career. And Sid Hag is in this. He's like a really young Sid Hag. Probably one of his first roles, I would say, is in this one right here. Cool movie directed by Jack Hill. He did movies like Coffee, Switchblade Sisters. Awesome, cool director. Underrated director, too. But a really, really great director right there. Very cool, trippy movie. Look at artwork. Bitch and artwork right there. I love it. But yeah, I've seen this movie a few times before. And it's a really, really trippy, cool one. Um, takes place with Lon Chaney Jr.'s character. He kind of like um, is like a like a uh, butler in a sense of this like old like mansion kind of house like this old house it's like sort of like a mansion it's, it's kind of a big place and inside this uh, house he takes care of a few siblings uh, one of them is Sid Haig's character and you got a couple of ladies in there and they have like a mental disorder that's like a genetic disorder and that runs in the family which causes them to have like a childlike mind but they're very strange they're kind of perverted. And they have weird thoughts and weird things happen. And then later on, um, some distant relatives come by this property to try to kind of claim the property, to try to kind of um, take ownership of this property. They want some money from it. And they're kind of like, kind of sort of bad, you know, these, these distant relatives. And when they start doing that, they, they want to like, they spend a the night there. And, and then uh, when that happens, uh, strange things happen and bizarre things go on. And, Cool movie, shot in black and white, but looks great. Has a cool vibe to it. Kind of like some dark humor going on, I thought. I laughed at a few parts. Creepy, too. Um, cool story. Awesome performance by Lon Chaney Jr. in this. Really, really good. 
just a cool movie. You know, just, I thought it was great, great stuff, very classic fun. Definitely check this out if you haven't. Especially the version of this one looks great on Blu-ray, in fact. Really good stuff. I'm going to show you up close right now what it looks like a little bit more. All right, here it is, Spider-Baby up close. Oh, man, check out that artwork. Oh, my God. Amazing job. That'd be a great poster or t-shirt right there. Oh, man. But look at this. It's, like, loaded up with extras. Look at this thing. Get, like, a making of. They do a visit to the house, what it looks like now. At least from a few years ago, they go there, and the house looks exactly the same where they film it at. Um, great interviews from the previous DV that was on this thing, and also new ones on this t thing, too. Just a great job. A great interview with Jack Hill, Sid Hag, some of the cast, how it came about. Just awesome extras in this thing. Crazy job Arrow Video put out in this thing. Here's like a little booklet right here is uh, Arrow Video always provides. They do an awesome job of uh, in-depth you know, write-ups and everything like that. There's Lon Chaney Jr. right there. Just a great performance by him. I don't think he lived too much longer after this movie was uh, released. Get the Blu-ray right there. DVD. And of course, you got the reversible cover, which is great. If you want the original poster art for it, you can slap that baby on too and have it like that. But just a great set right here. Awesome, fun, cool movie. Different kind of uh, horror flick right here. Definitely dug it. If you like kind of different kind of flicks, kind of old school ones, definitely get this right, right here. Right, the next flick I'm going to talk about is another Jack Hill movie. And it's this one, Pit Stop right here. Little Jack Hill double feature. What's kind of cool about this one, you get some of the cast from Spider-Baby is in this one too. Like Sid Haggy's in this. It's like a couple years after Spider-Baby came out, he did this one, Jack Hill. So you get Sid Hag is in this. And also a Beverly Washburn, but it was also in Spider-Baby. She's in this too, but it's with a shorter haircut. But a really, really cool movie right here. I never heard of it before, never seen it. So I actually really, really like this one. Really fun movie. We start Richard Davalos. He was in the East of Eden as, as uh, James Dean's older brother. He's in this movie right here. About 12 years after East of Eden came out. So he's in this. So what his is, like, what this movie is about is like his character is a street racer punk kind of guy back in like the beatnik era. Has that kind of like look, that kind of greaser look, you know, like the uh, the cool leather jackets, slick back hair, the Fonzie kind of look. So he's kind of like one of those guys. Street racer kind of dude. They do street racing. And so he goes to jail one night for doing uh, legal street racing. And this one race promoter guy likes what he's seen of this kid while racing on the street, bails him out of jail, brings him to his racetrack, which is a figure eight racetrack up in the LA area at the time, where they would actually actually film this over there too. And they do these dangerous races where they uh, kind of crash into each other because it's like a figure eight. So the middle intersection, cars are going flying by and they're crashing into each other. It's crazy stuff. So he hires you know Richard Davlos' character to be his main guy, to you know be the new race sensation at this racetrack but his uh but this one guy sid Hag's character is sort of like uh, he's like the main guy there he's like the main racer always w wins these things he doesn't like it so they kind of have a little uh feud going back and forth and things like that happen um but i won't give too much away but it's a really cool movie i feel like race cars muscle cars this thing has it cool vibe to it awesome soundtrack i really liked it had a cool beatnik kind of 50s vibe even though it was made in the 60s but it has a really cool vibe to it Awesome, it's filming, you know, black and white, but it looks really cool. Good performance, nice kind of, uh, sort of like a twist ending, sort of in a way. I don't want to give it away, but really cool. Um, really good movie. I really, really like this a lot. Great interviews on this. Very, very good movie. Definitely check this out, especially if you like race cars and kind of that kind of 50s sort of look to it. You'll definitely like this. Great, great. I'll show you what it looks like inside real quick. All right, here we go. Pit stop. Really, really cool. Got the good old extras right there. Check out this. Oh man, just loaded up again. Awesome stuff. Great interviews on this, how they made this thing. I thought it was very interesting. Very good movie. I was surprised how much I liked it. Go Sid Hag's character right there. His name's Hawk Sidney. That's a great name, right? Beverly Washburn. She's pretty cute. Uh, but yeah, just filming a real racetrack back in the day. There's Richard Davalos. Has that James Dean kind of hair going. But uh, just a cool flick, man. Great. Kind of like a little bit of one-liners in this thing. Just, just some fun stuff. Just a cool vibe to it. I thought it was really, really cool. Man, have a beer to this movie. Kick back and just enjoy it. There's the um, alternate you know, cover if you want to do it. And good old Crash O-Rama right there. Rock guts for glory. Flesh against steel. Gotta love a tagline like that. A great, great movie. 
Definitely glad about discovering this flick right here. Very good stuff. Load it up. Definitely give this one a watch. It's something different, but I think you would like it. It's very, very good. All right, last but not least is this bad boy right here. Contamination. Oh, man, look at that cover. It has like a nice little shine to it right there. A little slipcase cover. I mean, that is just awesome. Like, holy shit, that's badass. I mean, this is a really cool movie. Actually, my first time watching this movie uh, was when I got this uh, really cool movie directed by Luigi Cozzi. He did uh, Star Crash and Hercules. He's kind of like low budget, cool flicks from these cool science fiction Italian movies back in the day. He did this one right here. Has Ian McCulloch in this really cool movie. Uh, just a weird vibe to it. Sort of like an Alien, uh, unofficial sequel. Sort of has a vibe to that. Like the eggs look like that. But other than that, it's not really a total sequel of it. It's like kind of its own little interpretation spinoff of it. Kind of, but it takes place in uh, you know New York. You get this cargo ship pulls in the harbor, and they're not really known its origin. So the police go there. They, they go inside, and these scientists uh, also, and uh, cause they get wind of something going on. There's like these weird eggs, these pulsating eggs, and um, thing is like you put heat on it, or if you pop it and it explodes, it gets on you. And, like this alien residue gets on your skin, and after that, you freaking uh, stomach explodes. With some cool cheesy practical effects i love it nice gory good stuff it starts off really good with a lot of crazy effects but then it kind of slows down and it picks up at the end but a lot of it was cool really fun vibe to it the uh, the police get involved they contact the scientists there's one scientist he's been on mars and he's weird he saw some weird stuff on there from back in the day and then um he comes they, they contact him because he's like the only one that really knows what these eggs kind of are i guess and they go around trying to track down with the, the origin of these eggs. And it's like a kind of a weird twist sort of ending of where they're at. And uh, all this shit happens at the end of the movie. But really cool, um, fun stuff right here. Awesome practical effects. Good cheesy Italian horror awesomeness. I love it. I thought it was great. Great soundtrack in here. Done by Goblin. You know, Goblin's always badass. And then, you know, classics like Zombie and stuff like that. Just, just you know, awesome classic. I loaded up with extras in this thing. Look at that. Oh, man. Look at that. Loaded up right there. Oh man, I watched some of these last night and it is badass. Really good Q&A in here from like last year with Luigi Cozzi and Ian McCulloch. Really good Q&A. I thought it was interesting what their thoughts of this movie was about. But good job. Definitely give us one a watch. I'm sure you guys looks like up close now. Oh man, double vision right there. I'm seeing two. Nah, this is just a slipcase to it. Beautiful slipcase. I did not expect this. Man, Arrow Video, man, you guys hit out of the ballpark again. Especially with this. I mean, putting out these kind of unknown rare gems you guys are putting these out and I totally appreciate it and I'm sure all the movie horror fans out there do too and cult movie fans appreciate that too but look at this thing's loaded up with tons of extras I only watched part of them it's like, I still gotta finish these up but it's like great behind the scenes on this thing uh, there's like a cool featurette of like Italian knockoff movies on this like the shark ones and other kinds of spin-off movies like the Star Wars spin-off like Star Crash what the, all the Italians did, which which Luigi Cozzi did, um, which I love that movie Star Crash. Um, but yeah, this is a really gloated up, awesome thing. Definitely give this a watch. It comes out, I believe, July 7th it comes out. So definitely look out for this in about a week and a half from now. Definitely give this a watch and pick it up. It is just badass. Here it is inside. Look at that awesome book look cover. That is just killer, man. Oh, my God. Look at these crazy scientist guys. They get blown up pretty good. Nice gory effects. I'll show you guys a little bit of what it looks like inside right here. But here we go. Look at that. Nice some gory practical Italian effects. You gotta love that stuff. I know I do. Um, craziness. This cool fun movie. Um, it gets a little bit slow in the middle of it, but it's not bad. I mean, a couple, you know, it's 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 kind of sets up the story, but I understand why people say it gets slow. I felt that too, but I didn't mind it too much. Overall, great movie right here. Blu-ray, DVD, and then of course, if you want to slip on the other cover to it, you can do that too. This is the original cover for from back in the day, Contamination. I just love the new one they did though. It's just badass with the Cyclops. But yeah, it's a cool movie. Fun vibe. Definitely give us a watch. If you watch it with some friends, you'll all will get a kick out of it. Good, good stuff right here. All right, that's it for my little movie review. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Showing off those cool Arrow video releases. Definitely give those a watch right there. They are awesome. I definitely highly recommend it. I'll, I'll leave a link down below where you can get those at. Definitely give them a watch. Man, awesome, cool flicks right there. Arrow video, you guys are knocking out of the park. 
every time. Like, it's insane. I love it. But if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Love to hear what you guys think. And make sure to hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I'm always on there posting stuff, whatever I get and things I'm doing. Check that out too if you like. And I'll catch you guys later in the next one. I'll see ya.